Hello everyone, it's Davide here and welcome back to Learning Finance. In today's video guys, I want to bring you a stock that I bought and basically what I like to call a bet, okay? It's a sort of a gamble and I'm gonna explain you why. In a stock that, in my opinion, can be a life-changing stock, obviously, if they're able to achieve their goal. The stock that I am talking about is Kasawa Sciences, ticker symbol SAVA. In the recent days, actually, the stock went through one of the worst short-selling attacks that I have seen, actually, over the years. Basically, you were able to buy the stock the 29th of July for $146, and now you are basically able to buy it for just $80. Okay, the stock went down 56%. Uh, in an incredible short selling attack okay the volumes over there were crazy and this is obviously not uh, something natural but anyway it gave me an, an interesting entry opportunity anyway i'm gonna explain you why i bought it the only thing i ask you guys as always is please leave me another like it's very important and i thank you for it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new updates let's begin so cassava sciences now the company is a 3.3 billion company and basically it is a pharmaceutical research company now if you follow the channel you know that usually i talk about stocks that they have a history i like to see cash flows i like to see margin profitability all that kind of stuff uh, so that we can make an investment decision based on fundamentals uh, fair prices and things like that okay now i want to stress once more that this for me it is a gamble it is a bet uh, why is that because the company it is a pharmaceutical research company meaning that uh, the bet i'm making over here is just on the success of what they are studying okay because uh, as we can see from here the company literally has zero revenue i cannot say it enough it is risky this is a binary investment meaning that the company can literally go to zero if what they're planning is not gonna succeed the risk is obviously high uh, but if you follow the channel you know that i don't like hype i don't like to tell you bs uh, so i'm gonna explain you why i did it uh, what's the risk reward and why i decided to take it and clearly guys do your own research uh, because i'm not selling hype i don't like that this is an extremely risky investment do your own research i don't want you to to buy the stock just because of this video okay the stock can go to zero literally so bear that in mind now that i basically say this disclaimer let's start to talk about kasawa what the hell uh, the thing is probably you heard about it uh, one of the worst issues, one of the worst diseases that the humankind can take is Alzheimer. And according to studies, 6 million Americans have Alzheimer. Okay, And this data is actually forecasted to grow substantially over the next few years because people are getting older and older the overall average population age becomes uh, higher uh, and there are studies that they are saying that in 15 years uh, the number from 6 million today can go well above 10 million in the US uh, President Biden actually uh, pointed out how this Alzheimer issue uh, which is the common form of dementia, basically, is going to be a huge problem if we don't find a solution in the next 15 years. So also, in terms of politics and stuff, there is a big push in this, uh, trying to find a sort of a solution for this very bad disease, which nowadays doesn't have a solution. And this is what actually cassava is about. Uh, cassava is uh, this pharmaceutical research company that basically is focusing on the R&D on Alzheimer's disease. And now, interesting enough, this company is actually a stock that 
a friend of mine told me about when the stock was literally at $12 per share. And when I researched into it back then, obviously the first thing that came to me is that I literally do not understand 100% this kind of stuff because I'm not a doctor, I do not have a PhD, and those kind of things are extremely complicated. Back then, the research was actually just a research, okay, without uh, too many data. Back then, I didn't buy the stock simply because it was the period of pharmaceutical biotech boom, okay, so everything related to biotech was exploding. And so I said, well, you know what, it's gonna be just another one, okay, but what has changed since then? I continue to follow the stock. Well, their research gave extremely positive results, so this is something that has changed, and this is something that today it makes me take this particular decision of buying the stock. So guys, the thing is pretty simple. Alzheimer is a massive problem. What Kasava does, principally two things. First of all, Sava DX, which basically one of the biggest issues about Alzheimer is that you cannot uh, do a, a diagnosis of it uh, before you have symptoms and once you have symptoms it's too late usually symptoms of alzheimer are cognitive reduction today the only way to actually have a diagnostic result of alzheimer is through a spinal injection okay so you have to reach spine it is something that requires a lot it is something invasive now first of all cassava found a way to have positive feedback if Alzheimer is present in a body just with a blood test. So this is game changing. First of all, uh, that's the first thing. And they're able to do it even before that the illness becomes uh, dramatic and starts to see uh, symptoms. Then even more impressively, obviously, is that they are studying for a drug, a way to solve the Alzheimer problem. And as of now, 2021, there is no drug in the world who is able to improve cognitive ability of people who have Alzheimer. There are drugs that we don't know actually if they, are, uh, they work or not properly, but they're able to stop the cognitive reduction of someone with Alzheimer. Now what Kassava has done and their studies actually they came out the last one on the 29th of July they are showing improvement in cognitive ability. Now that is actually one of the biggest results ever. The drug of Kassava is called Simufilam Okay, I don't know the exact pronunciation of it, uh, but anyway, it is the first time in the history that a drug does that. As we can see from here, simophilum significantly improves cognition in patients with Alzheimer's in interim analysis of an open label study at nine months. Now, they have already released uh, the six months as well. Uh, one of the most, in my opinion, impressive thing is that the results of the six-month data are, let's say, worse than the nine-month data, meaning that uh, as time goes by, this drug actually gets better and better and better in improving the cognition in patients with Alzheimer. Uh, in what is a disease that actually gets you worse and worse with time. That's an incredible result. As we can see, cognition improved 3.0 points at nine months, okay, with an interval of confidence very small. But most of all, as of now, it has no safety issues. Now, clearly we have to point out that the research as of now is on 50 patients uh, so it is quite a small sample, obviously it is open label, so we have a lot of stuff to go through. They still have to start the phase three, however there is, let's say, a possibility that has already happened with a drug that is being issued by Biogen, uh, that basically because of Alzheimer's is so bad, because of 
basically once you get it you know the result and 100% you're gonna get bad basically you're gonna die okay so because of there is no solution to it the FDA there is the possibility that if the drug really seems for the first time in the history to, to solve even a little bit of that problem the FDA can give an early approval because it is an extreme situation it is something that they are considering risks and rewards and they say well the end result if you don't do anything uh, we know what it is okay so even if this thing seems to work a little bit they can give her the approval okay as already happened uh, but anyway it is the first time really, that we see a positive result in cognitive uh, improvement in history okay in the history of uh, the research in Alzheimer's disease so this is why, in my opinion, it is extremely, extremely important. And this is why I decided to uh, buy the stock, basically. After the, this research has been posted, lots of noise, lots of stuff went through the market, okay? People saying that this is not true, this is ininterpretable, the sample is too small, blah, blah, blah. And basically, an incredible short-selling attack has happened in the stock, uh, but in my opinion, it doesn't make sense. It's just rumor. Um, the research is great. They are probably the only one who really have a chance uh, to find a solution to that. Cassava uh, simulfilam is actually in pills and it costs $20,000 whether the old drug for Alzheimer's which by the way it doesn't give cognition improvements okay it just slows down the dementia is given by Biogen it is through injections so it is not in pills and the safety issues of that one are questionable so there is uh, issues of brain swelling and People feeling bad actually so that would be substantially better than that but anyway why I decided to take the risk so here is actually a, a small thing uh, just to make you understand why I did it and obviously we said that in the US 6.2 million uh, Alzheimer patients there are globally 44 is the estimate and this is actually destined to grow with the years. The cost of treatment, $20,000. The market share, so let's suppose that th this thing comes in the market and they're able to take 20% of that. I'm not doing globally, just US. And now one here can argue, uh, well, if it, if it is the best solution, why just 20%? Well, to remain conservative, okay? because there are lots of risks but anyway let's try to see with just that what we find total patients that would be 1.24 million now what happens you just multiply that by 20,000 which is the cost of treatment and you have peak sales 24.8 billion uh, now because of usually farmers uh, are valued especially when they are pretty new in peak sales multiple basically it is a price to sales ratio okay around four or five x here i gave you the two different scenarios so with a four x we have around 100 billion dollar company with a five x 124 billion dollar company market cap today is basically 3.2 3.3 billion and this is the potential result of this gamble that I decided to take. So uh, what is the worst case scenario? The drug is not successful, it doesn't pass FDA approval, it goes to zero. The stock can literally go to zero. So I lose 100%. What is the result? So you have one, two, 30x, okay, minimum, in my opinion. Uh, this is pretty achievable if the drug literally goes to the market and becomes successful. And what we are seeing in the data today is literally what the drug is capable of. Just risk reward, $1,000. Uh, the possible reward is $31,000, $30,000, okay, by being quite conservative over there with the market share of this. 
And obviously, uh, we can lose everything, okay? So this is not Alibaba stock, this is not Facebook, this is not Microsoft. This is a gamble and I've decided to take it because of the risk return and because of the fact that this is not like a DNA stock, something to, to modify, something incredible that we don't even know when, in 15, 20 years probably. This is one of the worst issues that we have nowadays, Alzheimer. And this is the first drug in the history that they are seeing improvements after nine months. And the problem is big, is destined to increase and even the president of the United States is aware of that, okay? So there is a push also from the government. Uh, so this is why I decided to buy the stock. Obviously, guys, do your own research. It is extremely risky, uh, but I wanted to bring it on the channel because of transparency and because I think it is something uh, important. Probably I bought it also because I have had Alzheimer's problem uh, in basically one of the member of my family which is quite old but anyway i've seen what this fucking disease does and so probably i just want for them to succeed okay anyway it's something that i wanted to share here it is do your own research obviously do not buy it because of this video anyway i hope you find the video interesting guys and leave me a like leave me a comment down below tell me what do you think about that do you see possible for this stock to succeed with the drug or not subscribe to the channel if you want and as always guys have a wonderful day